The stage is set. The players are prepped. They've come far already, traveling across the globe from 32 nations with one objective in mind, to prove themselves, to put their regions on the competitive Overwatch map, to test their dedication and talent against the most skilled, focused, and fiercely competitive players in the world. In the end, they either taste bitter defeat or reap the spoils of victory, with only the best moving on to the round of eight at the 2017 Overwatch World Cup. The Overwatch World Cup is a showcase of Overwatch talent from all around the world. In the game, you're working together with your characters to beat your opponents on the map. Here, you've got all these great players from different teams working together to represent their nations. You know, it's it's one of the most important things, especially for a lot of these players here. Every time we talk to them, they always say, I'm playing for my country, oh, I want to grow my region. I think World Cup is so nice because it's a platform for like newcomers and new talent to be seen. There's like thousands of people roaring, you, you heard them call, you're Name. It's one of the biggest stages in the world. There's going to be a lot of eyes on you. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Advancing to BlizzCon would just mean everything. I mean, it's the reason I'm here. It would mean a lot to me. Like, it would mean that I achieved something in this game. For me, I want to be in the World Cup team. We have to make it to the BlizzCon. Denmark, if I could ask you guys to check in first. Um, once you guys are done, go up to your rooms and drop your bags off. We have a shuttle ready for you. They're gonna take you to lunch and then do some photo shoots. Having unity is essential to competitive Overwatch. You need to move as one and, and, and think as one. It's more a team game than any other FPS, uh, team FPS I know, because if you don't have the team play, you can have the best aim, you can have anything. It's not gonna work. What are you it's definitely gotten a lot bigger than compared with last year. You can tell the quality of the players have gone up because there's more and more people joining and it's much harder to climb the ladder because you get more and more talented players joining and I think Overwatch has really exploded. Although professional Overwatch is becoming more and more popular, each region has differing levels of cultural acceptance and varying abilities in their competitive scenes. We're very geographically isolated in Australia, so we don't have the chance to play in big tournaments overseas. Uh, the Australian esports scene really isn't as developed as other countries, even just the ethic and attitude. On that level, we are a bit behind. I think in the United States, it sort of goes unnoticed. A lot of people still have no idea what esports is. You know, they still say professional gaming. You know, they get that look on their face, and they're like, not really sure if you just live in your basement and play video games all day. My family didn't really believe in esports. Now they're all just like, Oh wow, you're actually like getting paid, you're like living by it. And I also help my mom a lot with the money I get. So that's pretty cool. Esports is very popular in Russia. So yeah, I guess people are supportive uh, of it. Esports in Argentina, I think there's no support for the players. We, you have to just uh, bring up a good team out of nothing. I don't think there's like a, a giant community that I know of in Canada. Compared to Korea, where when you're an esports player, you're like kind of a celebrity. Korea in general has been seen as like this mecca of competitive gaming. It's where all of the dominant players are housed. It's where they live, it's their culture. All the lineups last year were just kind of voted in. There were like yeah. streamers and personalities on these teams. This year, because of the new committee system, all the teams are much stronger than they were before. Yeah. So I still think Korea's gonna win, but because the, the system for creating the teams is much better than last year, yeah. it, the gap will be a little bit small. I think, yeah, it'll be a little bit closer, but I, I don't anticipate South Korea having a whole lot of problems because the team that they brought this year is like head and shoulders stronger than the team that they had last year, yeah, too. Absolutely. So yeah. Korea got a lot stronger, too. In terms of South Korea, I think they're most likely everyone's number one pick for who's going to win the World Cup. There is no doubt in my mind that as a region, they are the best team in the world for Overwatch. <laughs> I think they are the best team. The I think they are the best team. To be honest, I think they are, yeah. yeah. That's actually like the only country that I'm really scared of.
As far as what goes into making South Korea different from other countries that have participated in esports, that's actually a pretty hotly contested topic. South Korea is definitely a very intimidating team. I think it's because of the culture where gaming is sort of more accepted. It really shines on how they like, have built the organizations and everything that's built around the players and the games. It's just on a, another level. The fact that playing games and being competitive in games is already at a high level within their culture, it makes it a lot easier to have a broad pool of talent to choose from. Is there any other team in the region that could, or in other regions that could challenge them? Like, I mean, well, we talked about France with, with Rose. Okay, we don't care if we win this kind, we just want to beat Korea. This is the one team to beat, and we, we are coming to BlizzCon for it. Right now, the, the biggest thing about winning BlizzCon is, is if you're not South Korea, it's beating South Korea. I think the more interesting question is, do they actually lose a map this year? I'm going to go with two. Two? Oh. Two. I'm going to go with zero. So, okay, you're going for the I'm undefeated going, again? For undefeated again. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think they're going to lose, but I, I hope they do. I just hate seeing people Go undefeated. You know, somebody's like, got somebody's got a blemish to record. I'm perfectly happy watching a God King crush presence. You have anything that you want to say to your opponents in the World Cup? Yeah. <laughs>